Hey guys, um, this is going to be a quick tutorial on doing cloth modifiers. Uh, we're going to make a flag blowing in the wind. Just a real quick tutorial, uh, probably take about 7 minutes or so. Go ahead and grab your cylinder and make yourself a flag pole. Just make it pretty tall. That's about 13 feet. We're going to bring it up to about 20 feet. Sorry about that. I should turn that off, but I didn't. Um, in your left viewport, just press L on your keyboard. We want to go into our shapes tool here. Press our line tool. We're not going to use a plane, we're just going to create a box here. And close it. We're going to go into our modifier panel. We're not going to convert to an edible poly because we are going to go down our modifier list and we are going to add a garment maker which will make it basically like a plane. But if we press F4 to show our edges, it's got different kinds of edges in it. Um, <clears throat> we can bring this up because it's not the cloth is not going to look amazing without that many. Um, Excuse me. Let's go into our modifier tab again and go to cloth. Make sure our gravity is turned on. <clears throat> and we are going to uh, go into our object properties. The line is our flag, so that's our cloth. We're going to make this uh, cotton. You can do any preset you want. We're going to add the object. The object that we need is a cylinder, which is the, fla uh, the flag pole itself. Just add that, and this is going to be our collision object for right here. Just click that and press OK, and that's all we need to do in there. Uh, drop down your cloth modifier menu here and grab your group. We're going to select the few vertices on the edge of the top and the bottom here. And we're going to make this a group. We're going to group these together with the group make group option here. And we're just going to say this is um, um, <clears throat> flag edges or flag edge. And we know that that'll be attached to the pole. We're only we're doing that so that we can attach this to this pole. So now we need to go over here into sim node under group again, and we just need to select our flag pole. So once it's selected. Um, <clears throat> we need to go ahead and make a force. The force that we need is wind, so we need to go to create um, space warps, forces, and wind. Uh, go into our top modifier here, drag it out. Well, let's get rid of this grid, just press G to get rid of that grid. <clears throat> we want to make this at a 90 degree angle. I'm going to turn on. Uh, the snap there gives us a five degree angle every five degrees. Bring it up. Now we need to go back to the cloth. Actually, let's do something first. Go into the modify panel of our wind object, and I know for a fact we're going to need at least 30 for the strength. <clears throat> and let's go into our cloth here, click on it. And we're going to add the wind to the cloth. So we need to go to cloth forces right here. And the wind needs to be brought over into the simulation. And just press OK. So now once we simulate this, we will have a blowing flag in the wind. Um, if you simulate local, it's not going to simulate the entire thing. If you simulate, just uh, simulate everything. It'll do as many frames as you have here. And we have hundreds, so it might take a while. So we're just going to simulate local and just show you what this looks like. Um, it is moving, but it's moving a little strong. So we'll go back into our wind here. And we're going to bring our wind down to about 20. Go back to our cloth, simulate, and see what that does. It's blowing, but it's still blowing a little, little too hard. Well, maybe it's coming down. <laughs>
Mm. Now, if we just undo this and turn off our gravity, it might work a little better. Just control Z twice to get it back to where it was. Go ahead and simulate local again. You have to play around with these settings. Go back into your win. We're going to bring this down to 10. Go back to our clock. Um, I'm going to leave the gravity on. Simulate local. It should be dropping anytime soon. It's probably because we have all of these um, extra pieces and extra faces in here. It's taking it a little longer to to simulate. So, what I can do to fix that real quick? Let's go into our garment maker. Let's just bring this down, just for reference here. Go back into our cloth and simulate local again. There we go. I had a lot of uh, faces on there. So now you got a flag blowing in the wind. It looks fairly good, but I think we can make it look a little bit better. Stop the simulation. Control Z. Grab your wind. Let's bring the strength back up to 20. See what that does to the flag. It's kind of blowing all over the place. Well, I think that about does it, guys. Um, if you want to simulate this out, just um, press the simulation button here. Now, this flag seems a bit big, so it's going to be flopping all over the place. But let's get a quick render on it. Let's see what it looks like. If the more polys you have, the more faces you have, the better the cloth is going to look. So just play around with the settings. Um, if you guys have any questions, just give me an email. Uh, I'll put the email into my uh, description, and I hope you guys had at least learned something from this. All right. Oops.